Hi there, my name is Welcome back to XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. And before I do anything else, I still need to pick up these promotions on Carl and Arpita. So, I already know what I'm going to pick. I decided to pick up Hit and Run on Carl. Because while these are all good abilities, and this would all work with his stats, I think Hit and Run will be pretty good with his mobility. He has amazing mobility, so I want to give this a shot. So that's Hit and Run for Carl, and I will get Packmaster on Arpita. That means she'll have much more flexibility. I want flexibility over slightly higher hitting potential. So Packmaster. And I already started one more Skeleton Key, because I'm going to need that for yet another alien base assault. I should also shuffle my Interceptors around a little bit. So rebase this, and transfer this. And let's scan for activity then. Overseer, right, yeah, I want to be intercepting that for sure. And Assault Carrier, oh great. Terror Mission. Alright, I guess we're doing Terror Mission. And my panic level in France is pretty high. I will probably lose France, so that means I know where the next alien base assault will be. Probably in France. But we'll see. I'm going to need a strong squad for this one, that's for sure. That means Hulk. And probably William. Yep, definitely William. Other than that, I could bring Jeff with some grenades. And I could bring Sarah. How's her experience? Oh, she's not even remotely close to Master Sergeant. I think I'll use my Master Sergeant Assault then. I could use Marco for this one. Okay, let's use Marco. He must be getting bored by now. He didn't join any missions recently. So, next. I need two gunners. I need an officer. So, I'm not cutting Jeff because he's a low rank officer. I want a higher rank officer for this. Like Sebastian. And I could also bring Kelly. As a double tap gunner. And she has hit ammo while Sebastian doesn't. I also need a medic and a scout. In fact, that's the last remaining slots. That's going to be Girard. Probably. And Emmanuel. Bella is wounded or fatigued or whatever. She's not available anyway. So that's the squad. Yep. Should be an interesting mission. Let's see then. Titan Armor for Emmanuel. She also has Cypanic. That's going to be useful. I will have two soldiers with Cypanic for this mission. So that's not too bad. Let's see. 90 aim. Pulse rifle then. Laser pistol. Neural gun link? No. Right. She has smoke and mirrors. That means I can give her ghost grenades. Some side grenades. And I can give her chem grenades too. I guess so. She only has 15 hit points, which is not amazing. But I like all these grenades. I definitely want to have all these grenades. So next up, Girard. Titan armor, because, you know, he needs to not die. I might give him a carbine. Why not? He's not too far away from Master Sergeant. So it would be nice to get Master Sergeant for him. And then I could give him Packmaster. So what about this last slot? I think I'll give him some side grenades. Maybe. Yeah. This should be enough med kits. That's five med kits. Because he also gets one med kit for free, not as an item from Field Medic. Okay, next. Kelly. Well, that's a no brainer. Gatling Pulser, armor piercing ammo, bipod. And a scope. That's the usual setup I use with the Gatling Pulser. And Aegis Armor should be fine. Next, Sebastian. So, Titan Armor for Sebastian. Auto Pulser. Armor Piercing Ammo. Scope. And something else. What is that going to be? Good question. Maybe a backup medkit? Possibly. I could use a backup medkit, just in case something happens to Girard. It's not impossible, because ethereals and other nasty things. You never know. I'm actually thinking about giving Kelly a titan armor. Yeah. Titan armor. 
Okay, next up, Marco. I do have Titan Amaro for him still, or do I? No, I don't, actually. I thought I had one more, but I guess not. Alright, never mind. No Titan Amaro for you. Right. So, Marco. Marco definitely needs Titan Amor, especially since he's not immune to critical hits. He also needs... Impact Vest. And Kiting Plating. Yep. So, Kiting Plating. And probably Breaching Ammo. That means no extra ammunition, but oh well. He'll be fine. He needs the extra hit points. Okay, so... That's his gear. Looks good to me. Next, William. Or Jeff, actually. So... It is armor for Jeff. I still got that storm gun. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I could use that storm gun on Jeff. That's not a terrible idea. Or I can use it on someone else, maybe. I'll check everyone. Real quick. So, pulse rifle. Okay, next up, William. Corsair armor, obviously. Pulse sniper rifle. Neural gun leak and the scope. Yeah, I can give him neural gun leak, scope, and... What was it called? Plus one damage with laser weapons. Yep, enhanced beam optics. I like that setup. So, what about... The Titan Armor. Good question. I think I might swap that around a little bit. Then again, this should be fine. I could give Sebastian Aegis Armor. That's 16 hit points. No. Not really. I think this will have to be it. I just have to decide a storm gun. Who do I want to use the storm gun on, if anyone? I could give storm gun to Emmanuel because she needs mobility with all these grenades. That's not a terrible idea. That's 14 mobility, still not amazing, but acceptable. She definitely needs the titan armor. She only has 15 hit points even with titan armor, that's low. Okay, Hulk. So, pulse lance, flamethrower, grenade launcher. Battle computer and alloy belt. And that's it. Yep, looks like that's it. I don't think I want to change anything. I'm just checking. I do have that backup med kit. Alright, let's go. Should be an interesting mission. I will probably lose France. As a result of this mission, but that just means I'll be doing alien base assault in France next. France an but we'll see, maybe I'll get lucky. You kind of have to get lucky, or you have to not get unlucky, to save a lot of civilians in late game long war terror mission. And you can't really rush it, you can't brute force a late game terror mission in the long war. You really can't. At least that's slightly suicidal. Which map is this? This looks like a new landing zone. I have no idea which map this is, actually. This is definitely a new landing zone. So let's move. I'll probably recognize the map once I see something familiar. Mutons. Yeah, mutons count as familiar, <laughs> but I was talking about the map. This looks like a good grenade target. I will kill the civilian, but that civilian will die anyway. Then again, I would like the mutons to actually target the civilian. Okay, I'll launch the grenade launcher without killing the civilian. So, like that. I should be able to kill at least one muton, maybe even both. Both the mutons in the front. So, William. Yeah, if I move here, because I definitely need to move, I can't just leave him in the open. That would be silly. This should be 100%, but it might not be enough damage to kill them. No, this is 100% chance to crit, so this will be no damage to kill him. There we go. Now I can kill the other one. So, kill the other one. This should also be a kill. Because, yeah, it will be a crit. And one more shot. Can I destroy cover? 
I'm not flanking any more mutants, so I can't trigger in the zone one more time. And I don't think I can destroy the recovery. Maybe Jeff can do it. His mobility is good, but I don't think it's that good. No, it's not that good. And he can't throw a grenade that far. No, he definitely can't. Well, actually, he kind of can. But I'll have to move him here. Which means he might get flanked. Moving. It might work, though. I might have to kill a civilian for this. Yeah, I have to kill a civilian. I don't really have a choice if I want to kill one more mutant. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's for the greater good. It's to save the others. <laughs> this should give me one more easy kill. As long as I destroy the cover. Yep, I destroyed the cover. So one more kill for William. Yep, that should be a kill. Nice. Alright. And I do have one more shot. That will not be a kill unless I get really lucky. What else can I actually do here? Not a whole lot. Let's see. Not much pod using running gun. Kelly doesn't have any targets. Marco can't do a whole lot. Yeah, I can't really do anything here. I could use flash on that mutant, but I would have to leave a manual in the open. And I don't want to do that for obvious reasons. Oh, I can actually shoot that mutant from here. Okay, let's use flash then. And now William won't be able to see him. So that wasn't necessarily better. Yeah, William can't see that mutant now. Okay. Run and gun. I kind of have to kill that mutant now because he's flanking me. Kelly can see him now. So I guess that was useful after all. That should be a kill unless I get unlucky. That's a kill. Alright, so that was useful flash. Now I do have one more shot, but I also have disabling shot. I won't be able to kill that mutant unless I... No, I can't get a crit. I think I'll use a disabling shot then. That's only 62% chance. But I won't kill the mutant anyway. Missed apparently. It looked like I hit him. But I guess not. Okay. I'll kill him on the next turn. This is a good start so far. This is a very good start so far. Marco will go here. And Sebastian... Yeah, Sebastian can go here as well. I shouldn't trigger anything with this mode. This is a very narrow map. I'm still not sure which map this is. Oh, I think I know which map this is. I'm on the other end of... Yeah, I know which map this is. It's hard to describe it, but I'm on the other end of a map. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter all that much. He will kill the civilian. That's to be expected. But I should be able to kill him now. Let's see. How do I want to do this? That's a good question. I can take a shot. But it would be nice to get holo targeting maybe. Move up with Hulk. Yep, I might trigger some more aliens with this move. Lots of civilians in this area. Yeah, I'm not going to use a flamethrower here. I need holo targeting. So who's going to give me holo targeting? Emmanuel. If I move here, will I be in range of the muton? I don't know for sure. I should be. Let's try like this, maybe. Okay, I'm in range. So, I just need holo targeting. And I actually hit. <laughs> okay, I don't mind. For damage. I didn't expect that to hit. But can't complain about that. Did she panic? No, she didn't panic. Alright, that mutant has to die. And I have to save all of these civilians here. 27%. Won't get any higher than this on this turn. And that's a miss. That's very unfortunate. I might have to use run and gun. I might have to try Psy Panic maybe. Yeah, Psy Panic would work here. I just want that mutant to not kill civilians. Okay, he's panicked. Alright, I can focus on the civilians then. I will still take a shot with Hulk. And I'll still move towards the civilians. I just don't need to kill the mutant on this turn anymore. I could dash towards these people, but no, I don't want to trigger another group. I will take a shot. No, 10%, never mind. 
Hulk can take a shot. I still got Marco. So Marco can go here. I guess Marco can just dash. And just save both these people here. Alright, move towards them then. That's okay. And I'll take a shot. Oh, Kelly. I almost forgot about Kelly. Where can I move her? Over here? Yep, looks good. Just in case I actually get some aliens running into me, I'll take a shot. That's only 15%. And Overwatch with Jeff. In case I get a patrol running into me. That's definitely a possibility. Come on. And that's quite a lot of civilians. But probably still won't be enough to prevent P France from panicking. But at least I'll save some. Yeah. Pretty lost already. But that's to be expected. So, let's save all of them on this turn. Jeff can go here. Yep, I got a group. Which is fine. Sector commander and a few regular sectoids. I can't actually see the sector commander anymore. Let's see. I have to reload on a manual. So, two saved. Reload. Easiest way to kill that mutant. Then easiest way to save these civilians. Probably like this. I'll save both. And move towards the sectoids or something. Yeah. I assume this mutant will just die on this turn. I can't imagine that he won't. I'm actually flanking him. But I have to move Jeff. Yeah, I have to move Jeff. And not towards the sectoids. Yeah. Well, I'll just move back here. So, Kelly. I can take a shot. Oh, right. I can see the sector in the back. I will take that shot then. Nice. Seven damage. Not quite enough to kill it. But William might be able to kill it now. Can he? Reload first, obviously. 82%, that should be a kill. Yep, that's a kill, nice. So one sectoid down. Definitely useful. That means I probably save the civilian right now. I still got one more shot. On the muton. I should probably... Nah, let's hit that muton. That gives me hollow targeting at least. And I can try to kill that mutant with Girard. I can't leave people in the open. I might just have to hit him in the face with Hulk. I think I have to do exactly that. Okay, I'll do that. That should be a guaranteed kill. 80% chance to crit. I actually need to get a crit here. That's a kill. Bye. It's been nice knowing you. So, sectoids are next. I still got Marco, and I still got run and gun. I don't want to move too close. I was going to use Hunker down, but... Yeah, he will have to stay back here on this turn. Okay. And Girard, there's not a lot of cover around here. I wonder why. Don't look at me. That totally wasn't my grenade that destroyed all this cover in the middle. That was some other grenade. I'll just keep him here. That's fine. Alright, well, this turn is done and we got a sectopod. Just one sectopod and it's a regular sectopod. It's not too bad, but a sectopod is always bad news. The civilians in the back are just going to die. Yeah, they are going to die. So this should be an interesting engagement. I have a sectopod and an alien commander. I have to kill that alien commander first. Because that's an easier kill. And I don't want that alien commander to mess me up. Or mind control someone. Yeah, if that sector commander mind controls someone, things will get a little bit more complicated. So... Yeah, how exactly do I want to do this? Good question. And yes, I know the sector pod is on Overwatch. I need to think about how exactly I want to handle this. Good question, very good question. William? 
Oh, he's flanking something? What is he flanking? He's flanking some sectoid. I might as well take a shot. This will be a kill. Wait, no. He's not flanking that sectoid? Right, this will not trigger a kill because that sectoid has cover. It doesn't matter I'm flanking it. They need to be in the open. I'm not sure how exactly I want to do this right now. I do have a ghost grenade. I'm actually thinking about using that. Maybe. I could use that offensively. Ish. Sort of. I don't know. I think I'll use it. I want to kill that sector commander, but I really do. What does it have? Let's see. Adaptive Bone Marrow. Mind Phrase, I Panic, Greater Mind Merge. I think I'll use the Ghost Grenade on this turn. Question is, where exactly do I want to use it? Where's Kelly? Okay, Kelly is here. I definitely want to take a shot with Kelly. I want to hit the Sectopod. Twice. Is double tap up? I think so. No, it's not up. Yeah, I used it on the previous turn. I'll take a shot at the Sectopod anyway. Because that's got damage and holo targeting. So, William. Hmm. I could hit the drones. 77. I can't hit the drones? Apparently he can't see the drones, which is kind of strange, but alright. Hit the sectopod then? I think so. This should be decent damage. I could use the disabling shot on the sectopod. I'm considering that. I think that's the best way to do it. Just use the disabling shot on the sectopod. Alright, disabling shot. But I still want to do more damage to the sectopod just to make sure I can destroy it on the next turn. Because just because it can hit me on its next turn doesn't mean I'm safe. No, I have to actually destroy it on the next one. So now I should be able to move safely. Because it's disabled. It can't shoot me with Overwatch, or can it? Well, good question. 95%. I could hit it twice. Only 30%. On that sector commander. I'm actually thinking about using run and gun. To hit that sector commander. The only problem is that Marco can't flank it. Let's take a shot twice. Okay, got damage. One more. Was that a miss? Or what? Okay. It's at about 50%. I still got Hulk. I got one more grenade. Which isn't super useful for me right now. These drones will repair the sector, but I realize that. I also got Girar. So I can move him out here. I'm still looking at that stupid sector commander. I could move here and actually save that civilian. That's not the worst idea ever. Okay, whatever. I'll do it. And hopefully I'll do good damage. Great, I triggered more aliens. Another sector commander. Oh well, that's the risk of using an Assault. 23%. Well, I'm taking this shot. And that's a kill. 27 critical. I hope that was worth it. So now I could give Marco a Ghost Grenade. Maybe I should. I think I should. Yeah. Because that Sector Commander might mind control someone. Or Marco might get hit with a flanking shot. Alright, I'm going to use Ghost Grenade, but this turn is not quite done. I can still do things. Move out of here first. So, hit the sectopod or try to destroy the drones? Would be nice to destroy some of these drones. I could throw a grenade, but yeah. I could do damage to the drones and the sectopod. Like this. Okay, I'll do it. That would be amazing damage. But it will be some damage. Actually, that wasn't bad damage at all. Yeah, that wasn't bad damage. Okay. Let's see now. So, William. It's a shame William. Alright, oh, I already took a shot with William. I got Girard. 
I'm hoping to destroy one drone with Shirar. Well, only 48%. I'll try anyway. And that's a miss, unfortunately. That sucks. I can still throw a grenade with Jeff, and I will do that. That should destroy the drones, because Jeff has hit warheads. And he does more damage with grenades. I don't want to kill that civilian, though. I have to throw it like this, anyway. So this should... Oh, did I just... Do it wrong? I moved my mouse a little bit. Yeah, I did it wrong. That sucks. Damn it. I moved my mouse slightly. Great. Well, I won't be killing the drones on this turn. So, Ghost Grenade. I'm still going with that plan. Make them invisible. The drones will just repair the sectopod. So, I'll throw another grenade on the next turn. Some civilians will die now. But that's actually a good thing, because they will draw fire. Yep. The drones will repair the sectopod for 9. I should still be able to destroy it? I can destroy it. And yeah, the last drone shot a civilian. That's okay. There are at least two more civilians in the area. Three more civilians, actually. Mind merge. Expected that. I want to be able to kill that sector commander easily. I'll need it to move towards me. That's a lot of sectoids. Sectoids aren't super dangerous, but they are really annoying. And with Gunslinger, they can do quite a bit of damage. So, yeah, the Sectopod can't do anything right now. And I will destroy it on the next turn. That's the AoE. Oh, Seeker, great. That's really irritating. Because I kind of needed Kelly. I'm still fine, but yeah. Come on, give me my turn already. Yeah, the Sectoids didn't even move yet. Not all of them, anyway. Come on, hurry up. Are we there yet? Okay, my turn. So... Grenade. Yep. And this time I'll do it right. Come on. Yeah, I need to do it right this time. Come on. I know I can hit them all. Yeah, like this. Yes, I want friendly fire. Sorry, I have to kill you. <laughs> it's for the greater good. Alright, that was good damage. That's what I needed on the previous turn. William, he's flanking this guy, but this won't trigger in the zone. Sebastian. I'll just use rapid fire on the sectopod. This will activate the shredded effect. And give it holo targeting. So like that. The sectopod will definitely go down. Was that second shot a miss? Looks like it was a miss. If I can get a killing shot on the sectopod with William, that will trigger in the zone, or at least it should. And yes, I remember about the seeker. Oh, Hulk can get a kill because he has hit ammo. I don't necessarily want that killing blow. So, let's see. Girard can take a shot. I could also throw a flashman grenade. I need to move towards these sectoids and maybe hit them with a flamethrower on the next turn. Yeah, I want to move towards them for sure. Let's do it. This might trigger a reaction shot or something. No, it won't. Am I close enough to use the flamethrower? Kind of, but I will only hit one sectoid, which is not good enough for me. Definitely not good enough. Just checking my options before I decide how exactly to do it. I don't want to kill the sectopod with Hulk, but I might do it anyway. Alright, whatever. I'll do it. Bye. Now I have to take care of that stupid seeker. 
Yes, unfortunately that killed civilians, but it's not like I had a choice. I still got Marco, I still got William. This should be a kill, right, this should be a kill. And this should trigger in the zone. Really? Come on! Seven damage. I hate when that happens. Mindfrey probably won't work on that. No. Only 43%. And that's a miss. Of course, that's a miss. That's so annoying. Yeah, 45%. If I use flash, that will do zero damage because of damage reduction. So I'm not going to use flash. Why can't I move with Kelly? I should be able to move at least a bit. Not really enough. I could use suppression, but I don't see the point. 66%. I guess I'll take this shot. That might be a kill. Yep, that's a kill. Alright, and I actually had double tap, but that's 1%. Not going to take that shot. So what now? Another ghost grenade? I'm actually considering using another ghost grenade. I might? I actually might. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Hmm. I can move a little bit closer and then try to use rapid fire. I'm technically flanking this sectoid here. If I hit, I'll do a guaranteed crit. Let's try that. Come on, hit once. Nope. It was worth a try though. That would be a kill if I actually managed to hit. But no such luck. Okay, one more ghost grenade then. Like this. Okay, I'll have the flamethrower available on the next turn, so that should be pretty good. I mean, it was available all the time, but I will be close enough to actually use it. I hope that was the only seeker in that entire group, but I have no idea. These civilians will obviously die, but that's not really a concern at this point. And there wasn't really any way to save them, so whatever. All these mind mages will take a moment. Would be nice to kill that sector commander in the back that's using greater mind mage. But I probably can't get close enough. Yeah, I don't think I can move close enough. So, one more civilian. That's probably the last one. Give me my turn already. I need this guy to move towards me. No, he's just shooting Hulk. Okay. And more Seekers. Fantastic. A full group of Seekers is exactly what I needed right now. Not. And another civilian. Yeah, that's a lot of Seekers. And that's the Sky Ranger in the back. <laughs> right, so let's do it. No more Ghost Grenades. But I definitely want to use the flamethrower here. So if I move like this, I should be able to hit three sectoids. Hmm. Alright, let's try like this. This should be a decent flamethrower. Okay, I will hit three sectoids. That's good enough for me. And I'll have one more flame for away on the next turn. So, like that. Decent. None of them panicked, unfortunately, which is pretty normal. Now, Jeff with some grenades. I don't even have to move. Okay. Like this. I won't hit the Seeker, unfortunately, but I will hit the Sectoids. That's kind of the point here. I'm trying to not hit Hulk, but do maximum damage. No. Okay. This should destroy cover, but that's, no, this should just kill them. No, it didn't. I was hoping to kill this two closer to me, but William to the rescue. That's a flanking shot. Hold on, he still has cover? 
Or was I targeting the wrong one? I was targeting the wrong one. I need to target the right sector. That's the one. So this will trigger in the zone. There we go. So that's a kill. I could try to kill a Seeker. Maybe. It won't necessarily work because damage reduction. I hate damage reduction. Kelly. I need to get rid of these Seekers. Oh, Kelly can't actually target the Seekers? Great. She can only target the Sectoids, which is kind of annoying. Alright. At least I'll kill the Seekers. I mean, the Sectoids. She will have to reload on the next turn. But that's two kills on this turn. And William. If I could do some damage to that Seeker, William could probably kill it. So how do I want to do that then? I can still take a shot with the manual. But only 45%. That's so low. I still got Girard. And I still got Sebastian. I have to move a little bit with Sebastian. 50%. Well, okay. 50% twice is not too bad. Decent. Now William can kill the Seeker. Unless he misses. No, that's 100%. Alright, so that's another kill. Not bad. Reload. And I got one more shot. 82% on the drone. If I could hit the drone, I could do the same exact thing again, one more time. So... Let's try to hit the drone. 50%. Nope. But I got holo targeting. That doesn't really help me all that much. There's one more civilian on the right side. Move closer with Marco. Oh, that's the only target I got, really? Okay, whatever. I'll reload then. So, one last shot with William. I still got Girard. Smoke grenade, perhaps? Smoke grenade is not a terrible idea here. Because that will boost my will. But smoke grenade for who? Like this? Sounds good. That's extra will for free soldiers. I actually care about the will part more than about the defense part right now. And one last shot. So, on the drone. I don't think I will destroy the drone because damage reduction, but I can do damage. I can destroy it on the next turn and that will trigger in the zone. That was a decent turn. It wasn't terrible. But that sector commander is still there. I need it to move towards me. Someone might get panicked right now. Marco might get panicked. He might even get mind controlled, but he can't see the sector commander, so the sector commander can't see him either. Yeah, more civilians. I mostly care about actually finishing this mission without any losses. There wasn't any good way to save all these civilians in the back. And I think there's still something robotic in this mission, like one more group of aliens. I don't think this is all of it. I'm pretty sure it's not. So, come on. They are still moving? Alright, I only saved five civilians in the end, but oh well. That's how it goes. Run and gun. I can kill that commander if I want to. Right now. Do I want to? Probably. Alright. I'm going to kill him. Like this. That's a granted kill right there. Rip. That kills this sectoid. And I got two more sectors on the left. Next up, Jeff with grenades. And Kelly needs to move a lot. I'll move her where Girard is. So, what can Girard actually do? Not a whole lot. He doesn't have... Well, he has two targets. Right, that stupid drone. I still need some kills on Girard. But not when he misses terribly. 
That's not very helpful at all. I'll use William for that one. So that's a guaranteed kill right there. And that gives me one more shot. So in the zone. Yeah, I'll shoot that sectoid, whatever. Missed. No way that just happened. Yes, wait, that just happened. Jeff, I need your grenades. Come here. Should be close enough to throw them. Yeah, easily. Don't have to worry about killing civilians anymore because they are all dead. The ones I didn't save anyway. So this should be pretty good damage right there. Almost a kill, but not quite. I'm not sure if these are the last two aliens. I'm pretty sure there's at least one more group, but I don't know anymore. Reload. And Hulk should probably reload too. I still got Sebastian, so maybe Sebastian can get a kill. He's almost out of ammo himself. 35%. Yeah, that's a little bit low. I could throw a cam grenade. I'm not convinced I'm actually close enough to throw it. I could use flash. Yeah, flash is going to be the best solution here. Not a kill. Ah, he's in cover again. I thought I'll be able to get a flanking shot, but no. And I can't move anymore. 45% twice. Might be good enough. Come on, Sebastian. Hit him once at least. Nope. And that second shot had to be 55. Come on. Kill at least one sectoid. How hard can it be? Apparently it's very hard. Extremely. <laughs> well, you should have used your ammo more efficiently. You wouldn't need ammo if you killed your target. I'm just saying. Oh, right. I completely forgot about the Seekers. I didn't kill all of them. But that shouldn't be too hard. I still think there's one more group, but maybe there isn't. I don't know anymore. Alright, Seeker first. Come on, give me my turn. Are we there yet? Yep, one more Seeker. On Jeff. So... And Hulk is out of ammo. William first. What? He can't see anything? Oh, that's a pretty big seeker right there. Okay. Let's not hit it just yet. Emmanuel is also out of ammo. But I could get holo targeting up if I use the laser pistol. I think I'll use the laser pistol. And that's 97%. I mostly want the holo targeting. Almost everyone is out of ammunition right now. Yeah. Well, take a shot, 100%. Still not enough. Can I even get any more shots? Girard can shoot, but everyone else is out of ammo. Can he actually get close enough? Yes, I do see that other Seeker. I want to get that Seeker of Kelly. Come on. Okay, 5 damage, that was actually enough. And can I do any more damage? Kelly needs to hit this one, 84%. Okay, that's a kill. Good. And I have double tap. 43, this will give me holo targeting. And it will miss terribly. Hulk needs to reload. I don't have Marco. But I can't do anything overly useful with Marco right now. Yep, I can just back up, basically. So that's what I'll do. I can't kill that Seeker. Nope, I can't. Unless I use the Flamethrower, which would be a terrible idea. And I can't kill the Sectoids either, which is really annoying. Oh well. I don't like these Sectoids too much. Yeah, I was... I mean the Sectoids, not the Seekers. The annoying part is that they are down to one hit point and two hit points. You're fine. Stop complaining. Yeah, one more Seeker on William. I should be able to handle that one. I hope that's really the last one. Because it's getting annoying. So, Sebastian. 
Can he move close enough? No, I actually don't think so. Jerry is out of ammo. And Kelly, yeah, Kelly can see it. 100%. Get off William, thanks. 67. I'll take that shot. Missed. Yep. Still out of ammo on half of my squad, great. But this should be a kill. I can't imagine it won't be. Yeah, 100%, that's a kill. Sectoids. This was a very strange mission, I have to say. I can kill that sector on the left. If I flank it, I should be able to kill both. That's a kill. With a second shot. And one more sectoid with literally one hit point. Emmanuel, yeah, she's out of ammo. Yeah, 9%. That's obviously not going to happen. Jeff can just throw a grenade. Yeah, whatever. Just throw a grenade. That's not a very efficient use of a grenade. But this should complete the mission. I still expected one more group, but I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. Okay, 24 aliens. I only saved 5 civilians. But no one died. I don't think anyone... Will even be wounded? No, I don't think so. No one is wounded. No promotions, but that's fine. I mean, most of this squad was Master Surgeons. And a few Gunnery Surgeons. What did I get? 9 Alerium, 15 Alloys. Panic increased by 26. That will definitely be enough to make France panic. But that just means I'll be doing Alien Base Assault in France next month. Unless I get... An actual council mission in France this month for panic reduction, which is not impossible, but unlikely. In any case, this part is done. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.